Radamel Falcao Garca is our rate, commonly known simply as Radamel Falcao, Falcao Garca or Falcao in South America, is a Colombian football striker, who plays for AS Monaco in the French Ligue 1 and represents the Colombian national football team. He is sometimes nicknamed as El Tigre and King of the Europa League. Falcao has been cited among the top strikers in the world. Falcao surpassed Jar one quarter a GEN Klinsmann's record of 15 goals in a single annual club football European competition UEFA Champions League UEFA Europa League campaign in 2011. He also played a key role in guiding FC Porto to a second Europa League title, as well as finishing undefeated in the 2010 Euro 11 Primera Liga season. In July 2011, Falcao received the Portuguese Golden Ball Award becoming the first Colombian to do so. He came fifth in the 2012 FIFA Ballon d'Or. He was named in the FIFA 11 for 2012. In his first three seasons in European football, Falcao scored over 100 goals. Falcao had played a key role in Atla copyright Tico Madrid's 12-match winning streak in a single Europa League season, making it the first team to do so. He also became the top goal scorer in both tournaments. Falcao won his first UEFA Super Cup in 2012, becoming the first player in history to score a hat-trick in the contest since its reform in 1998. On December 9, 2012, Falcao scored five goals in one game in a 6 0 0 home victory against Deportivo de la Coruña plus or minus A. In the 2013 Copa del Rey final, Falcao played a crucial part in Atla copyright Tico Madrid's victory over Real Madrid ending the 14-year unbeaten streak which Real Madrid had held in matches against Atla copyright Tico prior to the final. Club career, early career, Lanceros, Falcao made his debut for Lanceros Boyaca in the Colombian Categoria Primera B on August 28, 1999 at the age of 13 years and 199 days, thus becoming the youngest debutant at that level of Colombian professional football. In 2000, Lanceros coach. Hernan N. Pacheco, began to consider the 14-year-old more seriously. Falcao played seven matches that year. On July 25, at the Estadio Olimpico del Sol at Sojimoso, he scored his first and only goal for the club, to seal a 2 0 0 win against Club El Carcubenda that took Lanceros off the bottom of the table. In his two years with the club, he played eight matches and scored once. River Plate, after training with Millenarios, who did not take up their option to purchase the player, Falcao was sold to River Plate of Argentina in February 2001 for a $500,000 fee. He began his River career in the youth team, playing in the 8th Division of Argentine football. River coach Leonardo Astrada gave Falcao his professional debut in the 2005 Torneo Clausura in a game that the club lost to a Euro 1 to Gymnasia. Falcao became a regular in the first team during the 2005 Torneo Apertura. He scored twice in a match for the first time in Argentina, on October 2 in a game against Independiente that finished as a 3 Euro 1 win for River. He repeated the feat twice more during the Apertura, against Lana S, his brace contributed to a 4 Euro 1 home win, and against San Lorenzo, River won 5 Euro 1. This brought his total for the competition to seven from as many games under the management of Reynaldo Melo, who gave Falcao the trust he needed to establish himself in the team. In the match against San Lorenzo in November, Falcao injured the ligaments of his right knee and missed the remainder of the aperture. Then, during pre-season training in January 2006, he sustained more serious damage to the same knee, which required surgery and was expected to keep him out for at least six months. He returned to the field in September, soon after the start of the 2006 Torneo Apertura, in which he made 12 appearances, mainly as a substitute. He scored just once, to seal a 2 0 0 win against Rosario Central that took River clear at the top of the table. A few days earlier, he made his debut in Kumebel competition, in the last eight of the 2006 Copa Sudamericana against Atla Copyright Tico Paranaense of Brazil. He was replaced at half-time, and the match finished 2 a Euro 2, so River were eliminated on aggregate, having lost the home leg 1 a Euro 0. 
he was sent off in his only outing in the 2007 Copa Libertadores, against Colo Colo in February 2007. Domestically, he made little impression on the 2007 Torneo Clausura. He scored in only one of the eight games he played, Rivers' first two goals as they beat Racing Club for a Euro 2 away from home. Falcao scored his first professional hat trick on September 28, 2007, as River made a historic comeback against Botafogo to progress in the 2007 Sudamericana. The following week, he scored his first goal in a Super Classico, the first of River's goals as they beat Boca Juniors to a Euro 0. River was reported to have rejected a $15 a million offer from Milan for Falcao in early 2008 as well as bids from clubs including Aston Villa and Fluminense. He was a key player as Diego Simeone led River to the 2008 Torneo Clausura Championship, his first domestic title, and his performances meant he was linked with moves to a variety of clubs. Nevertheless, he remained with River as they suffered the worst campaign in their history, finishing bottom of the 2008 Torneo Apertura. In 2009, River Plate had a difficult start. They were eliminated in the group stage of the Copa Libertadores 2009 and won few games at the beginning of the 2009 Torneo Clausura. Prodemo retained his eye for goal, and was instrumental in Nesta Garosito's plans, having matured as a striker over the previous two years, and finished as top scorer with 43 goals. Porto, 2009 Euro 10 season Falcao moved to Europe when he joined the Portuguese giants FC Porto on July 15, 2009 for a fee of a 3.93 million for 60% economic rights after Porto sold striker Lisandro La Cube de Pez to Olympique Lyonnais. In the transaction, Porto also sold Mario Bolotti for a 1.5 million to a third-party owner, Natland Financia BV, in exchange for 35% economic rights of Falcao. Curiously, Falcao was about to sign for Porto rivals Benfica days before, but the reluctance of its leaders to pay an additional 700,000 requested by Falcao dictated the end of negotiations. Days later, Falcao joined Porto. He made his debut against poor section Os de Ferreira on the opening day of the season and scored an important goal to earn the team a draw. He went on to score three goals in as many games, making him one of the few to score four goals in the first four match days in the Portuguese league. On September 15, he made his UEFA Champions League debut in a 1-0 away defeat against Chelsea. Falcao would later score a brilliant header to defeat rivals Sporting Clube de Portugal on the sixth match day, giving his team a 1-0 home victory. Four days later, on September 30, he scored his first Champions League goal in a group stage win over Atla copyright Tico Madrid. On February 2, 2010, Falcao scored twice in a Portuguese Cup quarter-finals victory against rivals Sporting Camp. In the same month, he scored the victory goal against Arsenal in a UEFA Champions League round of 16 match, being his fourth goal in the tournament. On April 3, Falcao scored a brace against Maritimo and turned into the highest goal scorer of the Portuguese league with 20 goals, but he would finish the season as the second highest league scorer with 25 goals, behind only Benfica's Oscar Cardozo, who had 26. He scored another goal in his last game of the season, the Portuguese Cup final, where Porto won 2 a Euro 1 against Grupo Desportivo Chaves. He wrapped up the campaign with a career-high 34 goals in all competitions. 2010 Euro 11 season, Falcao made an impressive start to the 2010 Euro 11 season, scoring a goal in the 2010 Portuguese Super Cup to a Euro 0 victory over Benfica. He scored his first two league goals on the second match day of the season against Beramar on August 22, 2010. On November 7, he scored twice in a 5 Euro 0 victory against the defending champions Benfica, and later, on December 2, Falcao scored his first hat-trick for Porto against Rapid Wien during a UEFA Europa League clash, becoming the top goal scorer of the competition with 17 goals. On April 7, 2011, Falcao scored another hat-trick in the quarter-final of the Europa League against Russian side Spartak Moscow, which was won by the Portuguese team by a score of 5-1, a 
to bring his goal tally in the tournament to 10. In the 2010 Euro 11 season, Porto won the league title in round 25 of the league against rivals and defending champions Benfica at the Estadio da Luz. He played a key role in that match, winning his team a penalty when the match was tied at 1 Euro 1. The penalty was scored by teammate Hulk. In the match against Spartak Moscow in the Europa League, Falcao scored a hat trick and provided an assist in a 5 Euro 1 win. In the second leg, he scored another goal and provided another assist that took Porto to the tournament semi final stage. He further added to his position as top scorer in the competition by scoring four goals in the semi final first leg against Villarreal CF, a game which finished 5 Euro 1 in favour of Porto. In the UEFA Europa League final against domestic rivals Brugge, Falcao scored the only goal of the game with a header after a cross from Freddy Garayen, giving the title to Porto. He set a new goal scoring record of 17 goals in 14 games during the 2010 Euro 11 UEFA Europa League, surpassing Ja one quarter GEN Klinsmann's previous record of 15 goals. In July 2011, he extended his contract with an added a 45 million buyout clause. Porto paid a commission of a 6,585,150 to extend the contract. At La Copyright Tico Madrid. 2011 Euro 12 season, on August 18, 2011, Porto announced they had agreed a fee with Atla Copyright Tico Madrid for the transfer of Falcao. The transfer fee was a 40 million with the fee potentially rising by a 10 million based on performance-based clauses, making him the most expensive player in the club's history. Falcao made his Atla Copyright Tico debut on September 10 away to Valencia CF playing the full 90 minutes in a 1 Euro 0 defeat. On November 3, Falcao netted a goal in Atla Copyright Tico's 4 Euro 0 triumph over Ardenese Euro. The goal meant that Falcao had scored 19 goals in his last 18 Europa League games. Falcao's second hat-trick in La Liga came on January 21, 2012, when he led his team to a 4 Euro 0 victory against Real Sociedad at the Anoeta Stadium. On February 16, Falcao scored twice and assisted a goal in an away game against Lazio to progress to the round of 16 in the Europa League. In the second leg of Atletico's round of 16 clash against Turkish giants Boak Tai, Falcao scored one goal and provided another in a 3 Euro 0 victory, advancing 6 Euro 1 on aggregate. On March 21, Falcao netted a second half double to propel his side to a 2 Euro 1 victory over Athletic Bilbao and keep Atletico in the race for European places. Falcao scored another goal sealing a 3 Euro 0 victory over Gitafe CF in both legs of the Europa League quarter final tie versus Hanover 96. Falcao managed to score a goal for each leg, helping Atla copyright Tico seal a 4 Euro 2 aggregate victory and increasing his goal tally to 8 in the competition. Falcao played his first Madrid derby against Real Madrid on April 11, 2012. He had missed the first match at the Santiago Bernabéu copyright U due to injury, and scored Atletico's only goal as his side fell 4 Euro 1 thanks to a Cristiano Ronaldo hat-trick. He scored his 22nd goal of the season against Rayo Vallecano in a crucial 1 Euro 0 victory for Atla copyright Tico Madrid. For the first leg of the 2011 Euro 12 Europa League semi finals against Valencia CF, Falcao scored a double in a 4 Euro 2 victory while making Atla Copyright Tico the first team to win 10 straight matches in a single Europa League season. Falcao added to his Europa League tally in the final against fellow La Liga side Athletic Bilbao, netting Atla Copyright Tico's opening two goals in a 3 Euro 0 triumph at the arena now Unala Florin in Bucharest on May 9, 2012. In doing so, Falcao not only became the top goal scorer in a Europa League season again but became the first player in history to win two consecutive Europa League titles with two different teams. In all competitions, Falcao had scored a record of 36 goals for Atla Copyright Tico Madrid, the highest amount by any player in a first season playing for the club. 2012 Euro 13 season, Falcao scored two hat tricks at the start of the 2012 Euro 13 season. 
first in the La Liga game against 2012 Europa League finalists Athletic Bilbao, and the second in the defeat of Chelsea, winning the 2012 UEFA Super Cup by a score of 4 a Euro 1, on August 31, 2012. At the same time, Falcao became the first player in history to score a hat-trick in a UEFA Super Cup final in its current format. The original format was two-legged before turning into a single-legged final format in 1998. On September 16, Falcao scored what turned out to be the decisive goal from the penalty spot in a 4 Euro 3 win over Rayo Vallecano, and did the same a week later against Real Valladolid, before going off at half-time in order to avoid a possible groin injury. Falcao scored a double in a 4 Euro 2 away victory over Real Betis, converting a cross for the first and then converting a penalty, putting him to the top of the goal-scoring charts in La Liga with seven goals. Falcao scored a wonderful header against Malaga CF and forced Malaga defender Wee Ligton to score an own goal, pushing Atla copyright Tico to victory in the final minute. He scored once again in the away fixture to Real Sociedad after the international break. This time with a rare free kick a Euro his first professional free kick goal a Euro in the 90th minute, winning the match 1 a Euro 0. In a game against Seville FC, Falcao scored a penalty and assisted another goal in a 4 a Euro 0 victory. The strike marked his 50th goal for Atletico Madrid. In the match against Deportivo de la Coruña plus or minus on December 9, Falcao scored an astonishing five goals becoming the first player in La Liga in over a decade to net five goals in a game. For his last goal of the 2012 calendar year, Falcao scored the opening goal against Spanish giants FC Barcelona in a 4 Euro 1 loss at the Camp Nou. Falcao missed the first La Liga match of 2013 due to an injury but returned in the second match against Real Zaragoza, where he scored a penalty. It was noted that Falcao struggled to maintain form during the match. In the first leg of the Copa del Rey quarter-finals against Real Betis, Falcao scored a header in a 2-0 victory. Falcao returned on February 3 after being injured for three weeks where he failed to make a comeback on his return against Real Betis in a 1-0 victory. In a 2-1 loss against Rayo Vallecano, Falcao scored in the 94th minute on the day of his birthday. Falcao finally played his first match of the 2012 a Euro 13 Europa League in a 2 a Euro 0 loss against Ruben Kazan. Falcao scored against Real Valladolid in a 3 a Euro 0 victory. In the second leg against Kazan of the Europa League, Falcao scored a late goal but it was not enough to save Atletico from being knocked out on a 2 a Euro 1 aggregate. Falcao scored a penalty in a 1 a Euro 0 victory against Espanyol. Altetico was down to 10 men at this time. In the Copa de Rey semi-finals, Falcao scored against Seville FC in a 2 Euro 2 draw. Although Atletico advanced to the finals on a 4 Euro 3 aggregate as well as scoring twice before Seville. In the league match against Valencia CF, Valencia had scored a goal in the fourth minute stunning the home fans. However, Falcao responded with a goal of his own less than a minute later. The game however only ended 1 a Euro 1. Falcao scored a double against Granada CF in a comfortable 5 a Euro 0 victory. The second goal marked Falcao's 200th career goal. In an away match against Sevilla, Falcao scored the only goal in a 0 a Euro 1 victory. In the Madrid derby against Real Madrid, Falcao scored Atletico's only goal once more in a 1 a Euro 2 home loss. Falcao scored the last goal for Atletico in a 3 a Euro 1 away victory over Celta de Virgo. The win also assured Atletico Madrid to appear in the UEFA Champions League for next season for the first time in four years. In Falcao's last match against FC Barcelona for the 2012 a Euro 13 season, Falcao scored yet another goal in another 2 a Euro 1 home loss. This made Falcao one of the few players to consecutive score against them in three out of four La Liga appearances between the current and last season. 2013 Copa del Rey Final In the 2013 Copa del Rey Final, Atletico Madrid were given one final chance of the season to beat their arch-rivals Real Madrid for the first time in 14 years. Cristiano Ronaldo opened the game with a header in the 14th minute. 
In the 35th minute, Falcao had a chance to run forward while surrounded by real players but did something different, after catching the ball, he pulled it backwards where two Real Madrid players bumped into one another, leaving just three surrounding him. He cut to the right side and delivered a pass to Diego Costa who shot low equalizing moments later. In extra time, Miranda scored the winning goal with a header from a corner in the 98th minute. Despite Falcao not scoring a single goal, he took the home team by surprise in committing to the role of playmaker rather than a striker role. Thus, he abandoned the typical pure striker role. This allowed Atletico to win the cup and defeat their arch rivals for the first time in 14 years. This is also Falcao's first domestic title with Atletico. Monaco, on May 31, 2013, Atla copyright Tico Madrid general manager Miguel Angel Gilmara N announced that the club will not stand in the way if Falcao decides to leave in the upcoming summer transfer window. On May 31, 2013, AS Monaco FC announced that they had reached an agreement with Atla copyright Tico Madrid for a transfer. Falcao signed a five-year contract for an undisclosed fee, believed to be around US$60 million, with his net annual salary at AS Monaco being reported to be around US$18.2 million. Despite the Colombian showing optimism about his Monaco future, Falcao gave an emotional farewell to Atla copyright Tico during a press interview expressing his enjoyment with the club and considering it to be the best time of his career. It is commonly believed that his third-party ownership had a stronger influence on his decision. On an interesting note, Falcao went on to say that part of his reason for choosing Monaco was to follow the footsteps of his idol, Thierry Henry. Monaco sporting director Vadim Vasilyev said that the club hoped to build a team around Falcao. 2013 a Euro 14 season, Falcao made his League One debut in the first match against Girondins de Bordeaux, where he managed to score in the 88th minute, sealing a 2 0 0 victory. Against Montpellier HSC, Falcao opened the scoring board with a penalty kick. Monaco went on to win the game for a Euro 1. In a match against Marseille, Falcao scored the equaliser in a 2 0 1 victory. In a match against FC Lorient, Falcao got an early penalty kick, scoring the winning goal in a 1-0 victory while still having issues to adapt to the new team of Monaco. Falcao managed to equalise with a diving header in a tough away match against French giants and current league champions Paris Saint-Germain. The game would later end 1-0-1 and keep Monaco on top of the league table. Days later, Falcao scored a double against Bastia in a 3-0 victory. This also brings his goal tally to seven and making him top goal scorer in the Ligue 1. Falcao ended his four-game goal drought for Monaco in a 2-Euro 1 win over Olympique Lyon, scoring with an impressive chip. In a match against Evianthin and Gaillard, Falcao scored the equaliser in a 1-Euro 1 draw. On November 27, it was reported that Falcao failed to fully recover from a thigh injury prior to his last match for the club and he was forced to miss the next four league matches. Falcao made his return after being subbed and within the second half against Valenciennes, where he missed a penalty kick and Monaco lost 1-2. Falcao started 2014 off by making his Coupe de France debut in a match against Vans OC, where he both assisted and scored a goal in a 2-3 victory. Falcao's second goal of the month came in the Coupe de France once more, where he scored a goal before being subbed off due to an injury in the first half against Mons Dorazeg's foot. On January 23, it was confirmed that Falcao suffered a knee injury and will miss the 2014 World Cup, while effectively ending his 2013-14 season entirely. Falcao went on to say that he was confident in a speedy recovery. Falcao also went on to say that he wanted to play in the match himself, and that Claudio Ranieri did not force him to. International career, early years 2005 a Euro 2010, Falcao's national career was late in terms of chances in playing for the national team due to injuries around important events. He represented the under-17 national team and the under-20. Falcao was part of the team that won the 2005 edition of the South American Youth Champion. Eventually, his first major international tournament was of the 2005 U-20 World Cup. In the senior national team, 
Falcao's first goal came against Montenegro during the Kirin Cup held in Japan during 2007 at only 21 years of age, winning the match for Colombia 1 0. His second occurred later that year in a friendly against Peru. Falcao didn't score his third goal till 2008 against Nigeria in a 1 0 win. Falcao's first World Cup qualifying goal occurred in 2009, against Peru. His last goal for 2009 was against Venezuela in a friendly that ended 2 Euro 1 for Venezuela. Falcao didn't score another goal for Colombia until the following year in 2011 during a friendly against Ecuador. Falcao scored against Ecuador again a few months later in another friendly where he scored the winning goal on both occasions. 2011 Copa Armour Copyright Rica, Falcao's first Copa Armour Copyright Rica Euro He missed the 2007 edition due to injuries a Euro was upon him. Failing to score against Costa Rica and the host nation Argentina, Falcao stepped up scoring a double against Bolivia, causing Colombia to top their group, surprising the host country Argentina, who were favourites to win the group. In the next round, Falcao made a mistake when taking a penalty kick against Peru. Shooting wide, Falcao dashed Colombia's hopes of reaching the semi-finals, as Peru were able to score two goals in extra time. 2014 World Cup Qualifiers Falcao's first match in the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers started off with a goal against Bolivia in the last minute of added time, giving Colombia the win. Under new management of the national team led by Argentine Jose Copyright Peckerman, Falcao scored a goal against Mexico in a friendly that ended 2 a Euro 0. Falcao's talents were shown against Uruguay, scoring in the second minute to help Colombia win for a Euro 0. In the same match, he assisted Juan Zara plus or minus eager, sealing the for a Euro 0 victory in the final minutes of stoppage time. Falcao scored again days later as well as providing an assist against Chile to help give Colombia a 3 Euro 1 away win which put them second in the table, one point behind Argentina. On October 12, 2012, Falcao scored both goals and a 2 Euro 0 victory over Paraguay. In Falcao's first game for 2013, he played in the qualifying match against Bolivia. Falcao scored in the final minutes of the game scoring the fourth goal. Falcao scored a penalty against Peru in the 13th minute where Colombia won 2-0. On October 11, 2013, in the penultimate World Cup qualifying match against Chile, Falcao scored twice from penalty kicks to tie 3 a Euro 3 after trailing 0 a Euro 3. This result ensured Colombia qualified for the World Cup for the first time since 1998. Falcao ended the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign as Colombia's top scorer with nine goals. 2014 World Cup and friendlies Falcao scored the first goal in a 0-2 away result friendly against Belgium. On January 23, 2014, due to a knee injury, it was announced that Falcao would likely miss the World Cup. However, Falcao expressed his optimism believing that it's possible for him to make a speedy recovery and make it in time for the World Cup. After surgery, it was confirmed that he had a 50-50 chance of making it to the World Cup in time, all in his favor if he does not rush his recovery. Falcao received tremendous support worldwide in social media for a speedy recovery. A social media movement entitled Faitsa Tigre rapidly grew popularity. Former teams that Falcao played for such as River Plate, FC Porto, Atletico Madrid, and current team AS Monaco, have all worn shirts and showcased banners reading Faitsa Tigre in the following respective game for each team. This is following the global support that started in Colombia for a speedy recovery, as all domestic clubs in Colombia followed the trend during warm-ups during the 2014 Superliga Colombina and opening of the 2014 Liga Postobon. On February 5, Falcao was included in Jose Copyright Park Copyright Kerman's 30 squad list for the World Cup. In March 2014, it was then reported that Falcao is expected to fully recover in two months, expected by May. On May 16, however, Falcao admitted that it would be impossible for him to reach the World Cup at 100%, but would still try take part in the World Cup regardless. At the same time, 
he began to train again with his Monaco teammates on the same day. On May 25, Falcao arrived in Argentina to train regularly with the rest of the squad the following day. Falcao however made the decision not to join the squad as he himself explained that he didn't feel right taking up a position if he was not 100% compared to a healthy player. Playing style and praise, Falcao has been described as one of the most natural in form, goal scorers in the world. His abilities to adapt to most positions and scoring goals with various parts of his body has resulted in goals. Described as a poacher, Falcao is often labeled as a pure striker often playing as a traditional number 9 feet, capitalizing on less amount of chances that are given to him than the typical goal scorer. His footing and curves are highly noticeable through his games regardless of distance and or positions. Falcao is well known for having a strong weak foot that is on equals with his right foot allowing him to be flexible with goal scoring. Falcao controls a well-balanced pace keeping his stamina in check and allowing him to often outrun other players in the most critical moments in obtaining the ball. The strength of his shots is often well controlled, in terms of distance and angles, as shown throughout his career. While Falcao is only of average height, his header technique has given him an edge in aerial battles for balls. His most impressive goals tend to be headers, with the majority of his goals coming in the air. Falcao's talents have been recognized by football players former and current, perhaps most notably by former FC Barcelona manager Pep Guardiola, who described him as sensational, and as one of the most talented in the world. Fabio Capello has considered him to be on the same level as Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Personal life, Falcao is a second-generation footballer, with his father Rodemo Garca having played professionally as a defender in Colombia. His name derives from the 1980s Brazil, in turn a Sinolan Roma legend Paulo Roberto Falca Pando, as a tribute from his father Rodemol Garca. Despite being named Rodemol, he prefers to use his middle name in interviews. Falcao is married to Argentinian singer Laura Leiteran. In early 2013, it was revealed that Falcao is soon to be expecting his first child with her. Dominique Garca Tehran was born on August 13, 2013, at the Princess Grace Hospital in La Col, Monaco. Falcao is a Christian. Career Statistics, Club, as of September 25, 2013. One includes other competitive competitions, including Portuguese Super Cup and UEFA Super Cup. International, as of October 11, 2013. International Goals Scores and results lists Colombia's goal tally first. Honours, Club, River Plate, Argentine Primera División Cube Den, 2008, Porto, Primera Liga, 2010 Euro 11, Tour Section de Portugal, 2009 Euro 10, 2010 Euro 11, Portuguese Super Cup, 2010, 2011, UEFA Europa League, 2010 Euro 11, at La Copyright Tico Madrid. Copa del Rey, 2012 a Euro 13, UEFA Europa League, 2011 a Euro 12, UEFA Super Cup, 2012, National Team, Colombia, South American Youth Championship, 2005, Individual, South American 11, 2007, Tour Section de Portugal Top Goal Scorer, 2009 a Euro 10, Portuguese Golden Ball, 2010 a Euro 11, UEFA Europa League top goal scorer, 2010 a Euro 11, 1 2011 a Euro 12, UEFA Europa League final man of the match, 2011, 2012, UEFA Super Cup man of the match, 2012, FIFA Fifth Pro World 11, 2012, GQ Spain Sports Man of the Year, 2012, Globe Best Footballer, 2012, Wands de Bronze, 2012. Trophy OEFE, 2012, Notable Achievements, nominated for FIFA Ballon d'Or, 2012, 2013, nominated for UEFA Best Player in Europe, 2010, a Euro 11, 2011 a Euro 12, Guardian ranked 6th in Best 100 Footballers in the World, first player in history to score a hat-trick in a single-legged format UEFA Super Cup. One of the few in history to score five goals in a La Liga match, highest goal record in Europa League single tournament, one record of 17 goals in a European competition. 
2-2 Europa League titles continuously in both the 2010 November season and the 2011 December season. Decorations, Order of Boyaca, 2010, References External links, Official Website, Official Profile on Atla Copyright Tico Madrid, Pradamal Falcao Euro UEFA Competition Record, Pradamal Falcao Euro FIFA Competition Record, Pradamal Falcao at national-football-teams.com, Pradamal Falcao Garka at football lineups.